As we wait for those Iowa caucus results, we get a local lesson on politics and teenagers. We first met a group of students from Detroit Country Day four years ago as they took a deep dive into presidential politics. Now Paula Tutman visits them once again as a new election cycle is off and running. These kids were actually assigned a political party, whether they agreed with it or not, to argue that political view. They were just little kids back then. Take a look. But now take a look at them now. And also hear how their opinions have changed from what they were arguing four years ago. Hillary Clinton will promote the best practices among law enforcement. Most agreed with the political affiliation they were assigned. Aubie, the Democratic Party, even though his parents are hardcore Republicans. From cutting the business tax rate down to 15%. Nick, the Republican Party. The Republican Party will work hard to make sure that our economy thrives. Ella, the Republican Party, even though she did not agree with its principles. The process of performing a thorough background check on thousands of people. So we just had to debate what we were given. And Tess, the Democratic Party. But what if we could stop bad people from getting those guns in the first place? Ugh, I cringe at that because I can make such a better argument nowadays. We watched them watch their four years ago selves. I understand that these families, like, they're in trouble. They don't have a home. And, like, my mom was trying to tell me, like, what if this was us? But I also understand how the Republican Party feels. Whose opinions have changed? Today, Nick says he has not moved left, but he is definitely less right. I think, like, in seventh grade, I was probably like relative to where I am now, more strict on like immigration, for example. Uh, but now I think like we can be more lenient with like who's coming into our country. Abby, much like Nick, has moved a little more to the center. But after I researched it, I looked at statistics from other countries where Switzerland has one of the highest gun ownership rates across all of Europe. Every, almost every single person there owns a gun, but they have one of the lowest homicide rates for firearms. So as I read more of these statistics, I started to realize that it wasn't people having guns that was the problem. Um, the problem was the whole idea, the culture around weapons. Ella still feels there's a better way to treat immigrants. There's probably a more compassionate way to handle it than like what's been done in the past four years. Tess says she understands that as a 15 year old, issues are not black and white, but have more complexity. I just basically <laughs> said, ah, less guns. But now I think that there's so many facets to the issue and we're not trying to take away their guns. We're trying to make guns safer. We're trying to stop things like school and mass shootings. But one thing remained absolutely unchanged. Uh, we celebrate our differences, but we also celebrate how can we be friends and how can we grow together. Even though we are different, there's still a lot that brings us together. They all still vote yes on friendship. Paula Tutman, Local 4. And that's probably the key as we enter this political season. These students, unlike many adults, have declared they will not take the bait and fight with each other over politics. They will remain friends no matter what their political views or those of their parents.